hello guys good morning good afternoon good evening good morning i greet everybody according to your his or her time wherever you are watching this video i greet you according to your time over there all right well 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 i am back again to give you another update another interesting topic as the hot for chidike on as channel all right welcome back to chidike on as channel this is where we discuss so many interesting topics that will add meaning into your lives all right i appreciate all my viewers i appreciate everybody who have been watching my video who have contributed one way or the other to the success of this channel I say God bless everybody. Without you, there will be no me. I greet everybody. May God continue to bless each and every one of you, wherever you are staying. If you are in Nigeria, if you are outside in Nigeria, I greet you. May God grant you all your heart desires. All right, thank you, and God bless you. Well, there is this important topic that I want to treat. You know, it's very, very important. You know, that's why I said, okay, name me. You know share it to you all because i like imparting positive to the lives of all my subscribers you know so that they will learn all right and we are going to use uh peggy Aubrey and uh, Frederick leolard you know after my research i found out that there is a lot of things Frederick leolard encountered before he got married to peggy and we are going to extend this into people out there, those that are in a relationship, those that are want that is about to get married, and those that are already gotten married. So it's, it's going to be a help. It's going to help you, you know, to run your home. And for those that are about to get married, it's going to help you to be strong. You understand? Because so many of you are about to give up in your relationship. You don't even know whether to go up or to go down. But with this teaching, I believe that it's going to strong, it's going to make you strong, you know, to believe and to work out your relationship. All right. You know, Ferric Leonard encountered so many challenges. You know, when he was dating Peggy. You understand? When they have not gotten married. So, you know, in this life. There are so many things that you are going to pass through before you get what you want. But the question is that, how many of you are going to endure it? How many of you are going to stand strong and say, no, I must overcome these challenges, that I must get what I want? That is the question. You understand? So, so you people, you know, you'll be seeing Fredrick Lola and Peggy as they are enjoying themselves, you know money is coming and all that but you have never thought of what they have encountered what they have passed through before they go to where they are today i believe that every rich man you see out there every successful man every human being that is powering well now there was a time you know he was facing a lot of challenges but the person didn't give up there is this adage that said who give up nine for cup and that is true if you give up a knife, you have messed yourself up. You have to beat yourself and say, No, I must. I must be strong for myself. If not for myself, for my family, my mother. Yes, I must be strong and get what I want, achieve success. You understand? So relationship is not for a bad, it's not for a good time. It's for a bad time. How many of you can endure a bad time? I love you, I love you, I love you every day, I love you it's because when things are right, that's when you start hearing, I love you, I love you. But those who can endure the hard time, that is what is called true love. I get what I'm saying. I can tell you that there was a time for the Cleola and Peggy, they had issues. You understand? It seems as if they will, they will not get married. And they stayed some months before they, they came back again. Is because they knew what they wanted and they worked for it and they are enjoying it right now so how many of you that, that, that are willing to face the hard time because I believe that after hard time what comes is good time and that good time is when you start enjoying what you have worked for so look at Peggy now she's enjoying everything 
she's enjoy what she have worked for. In fact, uh, Frederick Leonard is the most, is one of the most successful uh, uh, actor in industry. You understand? Any movie that he featured will not be less than one million views, and you know what that means. So that is to show you that he has worked for it. He has overcome hard time. And whatever you see him enjoy today, he works for it and he deserves it. So, for those of you out there who had been in a relationship and you have been blaming yourself and be saying this and saying that, see, let me tell you, you have to endure as long as you know that your partner, you people have plans together. I'm not saying that you should stay with uh, someone that doesn't have plans, someone that doesn't even have plans to make future with you. No. If you are in that such relationship, you have to move out of it because it's going to ruin your life. But if you are in a relationship that you know that both of you have a good plan, just like Peggy and, and uh, uh, Felix Leonard, just be patient, just be strong. Believe in your relationship, believe in yourself. Believe that both of you are going to make it bigger in the future. The worst thing that can happen to you is that to be in a relationship that that is only one person that is making it to work out. It's only one person's effort that is making it to work out. You don't force somebody to be in a relationship with you. You don't force somebody to marry you. You don't force somebody to make a future with you. All this is a choice. It's a choice but that both of you will make and say, okay, we are going to be together. We are going to be as a husband and wife. And then you start working for it. You know, yeah, that is exactly what Frederick Leonard and Peggy did. And they're enjoying, and they're enjoying it now. They had so many fights, they had so many misunderstandings, they separated, it seems as if they, they, were, they were not going to come back again. But they come, came back and started building their relationship again. And finally, they got married. You understand? So, this man called Frederick Lona, he encountered so many challenges in life. You know, sometimes people will be commenting, eh, God has really blessed you, God did this, God did that, but you have never thought of the hard time. What about the hard time? Do you know what he passed through? Do you know his past experience? Do you know how eh, he started his life? So I want you to use them as an example. Use them and, you know, be strong. That's your relationship. If only both of you are strong believe me you are going to make the best out of it don't give up don't think okay oh my mate uh, this uh, this guy i've gotten married to this guy uh, or this uh, uh, you know you start you know you start regretting why you are in a relationship with this person in as much as the guy is focused that he's fighting that he's struggling to make a future work with him work with him believe me both of you are going to smile in future don't be in a hurry. Stop looking at your friends. Stop looking at your friends that have gotten married. See, the day you get married, it will be as if your marriage is the talk of town. Believe me. Just be focused. Try and be focused. That is, believe in your relationship. Believe that both of you are going to make it. You understand? Peggy Overy has been a patient person. He has been the, that patient dog. And she's eating the fattest bone now. They say a patient dog is the fattest bone, and that is true. She has been that patient dog, and she's eating the fattest bone now. You understand? You have to be strong. You don't have to look at your friend and say, My friend, I've gotten married. That what happened? What about me? I don't even know what this boy is doing. I don't even know if uh, uh, he, he, he's going to marry me. Yeah, I'm going to leave him. Before you know it, you started cheating. You started gallivanting from one man to another. Believe me, you are not going to make a perfect relationship. Perfect relationship with if you don't stick to one man. As long as you know that. Don't get me right. Don't get. Oh my God. Don't get me wrong. That man you are dating is only you that will know that he's serious about you. A man we have been with for some months, you know the kind of person he is. You understand? So, you have to observe him, ask him some questions, watch his movement, observe him very well to know if actually this person 
is ready to be with you. You understand? Peggy did not just wake up and start dating Peggy Fredrick Leonard. She worked for her relationship. She built it. And she's enjoying it right now. So that is why you have to, you know, you, you have to look at other people's how they started, who they, they have passed through. You have to use it to encourage yourself. I get what I'm saying. To see a good man is not easy. And to see a good woman is not easy. There are billions of men out there, billions of women out there, but for you to see that truthful one is very difficult. You understand? That is why you have to be very careful. You have to be very, very careful when making a choice so that you don't make a mistake. You understand? So that's why I like talking about these people and I'm using it to teach you a lot of things so that you learn from them. Learn from these people. Make a choice now. Are in that relationship you are into, what are your plans? What are your plans with that guy you are dating? What are your plans with that girl you are dating? Are you both just enjoying the moment without future plan? What are your future plans with that guy you are dating? That is the question you need to ask yourself. Are you both just enjoying gallivanting from one hotel to another, from one joint to another, no future plan? Have you looked at your age? Have you looked at the, 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 the person you are dating? What are the futures of that relationship? What are the destination of that relationship? Have you defined that relationship? Some of you are 40, 40 something, but you have never asked yourself, this relationship I'm into, where is it taking me to? Is it taking me up or is it taking me down? You need to, that is the question you need to ask yourself. You understand what I'm saying? So whatever you see, Peggy Overin, the owner, enjoy themselves, just know that these people, they really deserved it because they went through hardship, challenges, a lot of challenges before they got to where they are today. You understand? Just be strong in that relationship. Don't get me wrong. The only way you stay in that relationship and work for it is that if both of you have the same plan. Because there are so many relationships out there Imagine the, 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 the girl will be forcing the guy to, to marry her. No, that is not the kind of relationship I'm talking about. If you, if you are in that kind of relationship, it's high time you need to move out. Because relationship is a choice that, that will be made with the two partners. Not only one person. If, if uh, Peggy Leonard really want to marry Peggy, there is no way Peggy would have forced him to marry her. Because... Any relationship that you forced one person into it, that relationship is not going to last. It's going to collapse along the way. So, Peggy, Peggy Overin really loves Frederick Lola. And Frederick Lola really loves Peggy. And that's why they got married. And they are enjoying their marriage today. So what about you? Think about your life. Think about that relationship you are into. You have been into that relationship for years without a future plan. All you are interested in is going to shawarma, ice cream, joy, shop rides, so many places. Trust me, it's not going to help you. It's high time you sit down and ask yourself some questions. You understand? All right, thank you and God bless you. Please, if you love what I'm doing, please, I would like you all to comment on this uh, post. You understand so uh, my channel is not for everybody it's for those that really wants to learn i always tell you this i don't force people to subscribe to my channel i'm not this kind of blogger that force people or tell a false story just for people to view my work and all that if you love good thing you must watch my video if you love good you must subscribe so i don't force people to subscribe if you are if you think i'm doing the right thing i'm doing a good thing just subscribe to this channel and keep enjoying the content all right thank you and god bless you please i wish all my viewers eh, i wish them good i wish them their heart desire may god continue to bless them thank you and god bless you